The Lane Libraries provide materials, services, and technology aimed at satisfying the curiosity, intellect, and imagination of our patrons. The Booklobile was created in 1938 to provide library services to people who had trouble getting to a library building. The Booklobile Department continues to fulfill its mission to bring library resources to underserved communities by partnering with organizations, schools, and communities throughout our service area. Uh, my name is Fran Meyer. I'm the manager of Bookmobile and Outreach Services at the Lane Library. And for people that are unfamiliar with a bookmobile, what is it? So the bookmobile is just a large uh, bus. It's actually um, usually a motorhome, motorhome body. And uh, we had it built, uh, outfitted with shelves for to carry books and audiobooks, movies, and all kinds of things that you can get at the real library. Can you tell us some of the main differences between the old bookmobile and the new bookmobile that you have? The newer one is a lot bigger, a lot more room for materials, a lot more room for people. So we can fit entire classes of students on there and there's uh, just a lot more natural light and space to move around and browse. Can you talk a little bit about the mechanics of it? Um, for example, like your generator, the type of gas it uses, things like that? So the bookmobile takes regular unleaded gasoline. Our previous vehicle took diesel, so this is much nicer. It has propane heat, which is new for us also. It has a, it's equipped with a generator which runs all of the electronics that are on board. So the computers, the lights, the microwave, the refrigerator, uh, all of that is run by the generator, which is also run by the gasoline. We regularly have it out all day from nine to three out of school and then we'll come back and swap out collections, whatever we need, if there are holds that we triggered when we were at the school or if there are holds that we need to load on for the evening stop that we have. So it'll be out from nine in the morning until seven in the evening sometimes um, before we plug it in. We do plug it in every night, um, but mostly that's so that we can access the lights inside the vehicle without having to run the generator. What is your favorite part about the bookmobile? It just rides a lot better, so it feels less like you're driving a truck and more like you're driving a real car. <laughs> what is the most visually appealing feature of the bookmobile, in your opinion? We're super excited with the new graphics that PR um, put on a, our new bookmobile, and we really love the awning that we have. For the first time ever, we have a functioning awning on our bookmobile, so if it's raining or if it's very sunny or hot, we can keep everybody comfortable on the outside. So what types of items can you borrow at the bookmobile? You can borrow books, music, movies, audiobooks, um, video games if you request them. Just like the real library, you can request books to pick, be picked up at the bookmobile. So really anything that's available at the library, you can request a place a hold on to pick up at the bookmobile. What types of items get checked out the most at the bookmobile? Uh, most popular collections because of the nature of our services during the school year are our kids' collections. So chapter books, readers, nonfiction is very popular for kids, um, but we also have a very large, large print collection that we use for our senior services, which do not include the bookmobile, and so most of those are in the workroom. Can you tell us a little bit about your warehouse? The warehouse is right now closed to the public, um, and in it we have a lot of materials that we use to restock the bus, uh, which usually happens on the fly. So. After we come back from schools or evening stops, if we notice that there's a collection that needs some bulking up, we'll just go to the workroom and grab whatever we need to make sure that we have a good variety of items on the bookmobile for people who come see us every week. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to drop us a like or hit the subscribe button. You can also give us a shout out on Facebook. If you're interested in learning more about our services and programs, come and visit us at www lanepl.org. What does a typical day look like for you guys? So we um, have to come in and, and pull holds just like they do at the library branches. Um, we also have everyone is assigned some teacher collections so um, there's a lot of time spent gathering those. There's a lot of organizational aspects because we do have to transfer books back and forth between the bus and the workroom. So we have to keep a constant eye on what needs restocking or what we have too much of because we can't carry as many materials on the bookmobile as you have in a regular branch library. We have to be very 
aware and mindful of what we're putting on. So we can't we can't have you know 14 James Pattersons. We'd love to have all of our, all of our James Patterson fans, um, but that limits what other adult fiction we can have. So we have to be very mindful of what's on there and making sure we're swapping out things. Um, so that takes some time. Um, a lot of collections, a lot of my job, because I do help with the home deliveries, is making sure I'm calling those people and contacting them periodically and then selecting items for them. I select items for you know 30 people a week, everything that they're going to read, so that takes a long time. Logistics take a long time, making sure that people know which routes are safe to go to, which turns are going to be safe in the big bus. 90% uh, of our schedule during the school year is um, taking the bookmobile to schools and we see entire classes of kids every 15 to 20 minutes at those schools so that would be from around 9 30 until around 3. So it's a pretty full day. Three days a week we also have evening stops and then during the year mostly in the summer we have a lot of events that we go to that we're excited to attend. Do you have any programs other than story times that you do on the bookmobile? We don't do a lot of programming on the bookmobile uh, because of our very quick school services it doesn't leave a lot of time but we do try to work in library skills to our visits at the schools so we are constantly on the fly explaining to kids how to use the Dewey Decimal System and what a library actually is that these are books to borrow and not to buy and things like that so we kind of consider it a civic education on the fly. Can you talk a little bit more about your home delivery service? Um, our home delivery service really expanded in the last few years and we expanded it even more during the pandemic. Um, we used to call it homebound delivery, and it was f mainly geared toward people who couldn't get to the library. And now we're offering it to anyone who would just rather not go to the library because they're worried if they're immune compromised or they're worried about uh, other health concerns or if they just don't like driving in the wet weather, they can ask for home delivery. We deliver to around uh, between 65 and 70 patrons a month on a four-week rotation. Most of our patrons, we select items for them based on what they've told us that they prefer, but some of our patrons just place requests and choose Bookmobile as the pickup location, and so when those come in, we deliver them. Do you have to do a lot of teacher requests too? We have a lot of teacher requests. I think we're up to around 15 a month, something like that. What is your favorite part of your job? <laughs> My favorite part of working at the Bookmobile is getting to see uh, and interact with patrons on a regular basis, whether that's um, at a school and seeing all these kids come in and how excited they are to be in a library, um, or whether it's dropping off books to patrons who maybe don't have a lot of contact with people outside of their homes because they are homebound or because they've chosen for whatever reason, you know, the, during the pandemic to limit their exposure. Um, I just really like getting to see those people and talk, talk about library stuff with them, but also just kind of get to know them. It feels like how libraries are supposed to be, you know, when you know every patron by name and you can greet them and say, hey, it's great to see you. How are you feeling today? What's going on in your life? How many staff members are currently at the Bookmobile? I believe it's seven counting me. Oh, wow. Seven people counting me. And for the uh, number of personalized services that we offer, I feel like it's it's an amazing, honestly, what we're able to do. Not not to toot our own horn, <laughs> but really, I feel like when we when I you know present to the board or whatever, and I tell them what we do, it just sounds so impressive to run on a staff of seven people with only one full time librarian, and it's I'm blown away by what we're able to accomplish. That is impressive. Does now do do all seven of you know how to drive the bus? Yes, that's a requirement. It's why we struggle to get people here. Yes, you have to be able to drive the bookmobile if you work in the bookmobile services department. Is it difficult? <laughs> it's really not. I mean, it's it's scary to think about, but once you once you drive it, everyone to a T who has driven the bookmobile has ended up saying, "This isn't really that different than driving a car. It's just." a lot but you know you have to watch your clearances on the side and and use your mirrors a little bit more but it's really not that different what is one thing you want your patrons to know 
we've expanded outreach services so much in the last several years that I've been here that I would like people to keep in mind that if there's a service that we don't currently offer, that doesn't mean that we can't. I'd really like to be able to meet people's needs where they are. For instance, we got uh, requests from a local retirement community to have Bookmobile staff come out and get their tablets loaded with library software so they can download ebooks and audiobooks onto their tablets. And so we did that. We had staff just go out and meet them in their library at their retirement center and we got all of these patrons set up for that. That's not something we ever considered offering before and we didn't know it was something that people needed until they asked. If you'd like to set up Bookmobile Services, please contact the manager of Bookmobile Services at bkm underscore manager at lanepl.org. If you would like to learn more about any Lane Library's locations, come and visit us. We would be happy to see you.